there's something that comes up in this in this show again and again and again and you might as well talk about it here because it actually works very well here and that is this whole desire of people to to leave a mark on the land um, you know in the city people leave their mark on the land with graffiti people leave their mark on the land by renting a stretch limo and driving it around and causing everybody else to have to slow down or by you know getting a low rider car and driving it driving it slow 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 out in the prairie it seems like people mark the land in 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 more visible ways more tangible ways less time-based ways and I think what's really interesting is to is to think about these churches which are quite large I mean this is this is a cathedral a small cathedral this is a wonderful prairie church and these wonderful grave markers which are again quite quite small this star which is you know maybe 10 feet across and this chapel which is you know just enough to maybe get two people or three people in the chapel it's 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 all this very human desire to leave to leave a, a, a if not a permanent mark at least a readable mark um, on this enormous landscape and I think as somebody from back east you know I still can't get used to even though I'm very familiar with it now I still can't get used to the enormity of it and not living here um, it's not part of my blood uh, it doesn't prey on me but I imagine it must get to prey on people here you know that that, that you're always aware of being very 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 small in the grand scheme of things and so I think that there's a lot of that a lot of that wonderful energy turned into making these objects and making these marks so if you have if you have this 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 doubling of people who are very very self-reliant very very intelligent very much sort of polymaths in the in the old-fashioned sense of knowing how to to do everything and yet for six months of the year after the books are balanced the bills are paid the equipment's fixed the animals are fed the seed is bought there's all this time and what do people with that kind of ingenuity and that kind of energy and that kind of ability do well there's only so many cups of coffee you can drink there's only so much TV you can watch there are probably even only so many books you can read and then they just have to start making things because